And that, my friends, is how you make a four-tiered mock wedding cake using nothing but soda crackers and lemon juice. Wow! Dennis Quaid, nothing is impossible for you. Yeah! Now that you showed us your special dish, we're gonna show you our special dish, which was calamari, but now it's... Ta-da! Ta Meatless meatballs. They're made from grapes. Yeah. Mmm, <laughs> not bad. But may I make a suggestion? Indeed, oh, yes. Indeed. Heat them up first. <gasps> wow, heat them up. What a great idea. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Dennis Quaid, we would just love to do a song with you, but we couldn't think of what to do. Well, Peppy, it's mm. funny. Mm. When picking a song, sometimes it just comes to you in a flash. Ah! Oh. Goodness gracious, my great balls are on fire! We have a winner! <laughs> you shake it back and you land on your pants. Two months on there and you burn your hand. You make a dish. Good little range is great balls of fire. Amazing entertainer. Oh, yeah, yeah. You should host the show every week. Oh, what a marvelous idea. Yeah, yeah. Yes, every week. Yeah, we can talk to Kermit. It's a crying shame. Oh, yeah. Say what? Hmm. I was saying to my brother, it's a crying shame the way they treat an artist like you. Am I right or am I wrong? Crying shame. I mean, a man like you should be treated with respect. Treated with respect. You come with us, come and on. your days of wrestling squid are over. Over. Am I right or am I wrong? Squid. Say, say, you guys aren't from that place with uh, 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 fire and brimstone and little demons, are you? You mean the network? No, no, definitely not the network. Nah. Mm. Clifford, Artie and I would like to welcome you to Merry Own Nuts, the most successful puppet show on television. Oh, I recognize you two. You're Artie and Marty Pipkin. In, In the, the flesh. flesh. So, so what's this all about? Hey, you know, you're a smart dresser, Clifford. Do you like Italian suits? Well, I love Italian suits. I told you you had good taste. So uh, what's this got to do with Say, let me the... ask you something, Clifford. Do you huh? like banana bread? I love banana bread. <laughs> I told you he was a banana bread type of guy. So, so you guys asked hey, me here because... Do you like uh, money? I love money. What'd I tell you? Clifford, what would you say to two million dollars? Me? <laughs> I'd say, how do you do two million dollars? Do you want to live in my pocket? <laughs> <laughs> I love your sense of humor, Clifford. Yeah, well. Let us be frank. Uh, we think you're terrific. Am I right or am I wrong? Terrific. And we'd like you to come be the new host of, are you ready? The, the Mario Nut Show. Well, I'm flattered by the offer, guys, but... But what's most important to me is uh, to feel like I'm a part of a group. Uh, you know, like a uh, member of, uh, well... A family, am I right? Uh, that's what we are, a family show. Of course, you know that. You've seen our program. Yeah. My point being... Well, well, actually, I've never seen the show. You've never seen the show? Mm -mm. Well, what have you been watching Tuesday mornings at 5.45? <laughs> yeah, what are you, sleeping? <laughs> look, look, do me a favor. Just watch this tape of the Mario Nuts in action, uh, featuring two of our biggest stars. Lucky the Duck and Sparky the Pool Cleaner. Oh, right Spin them around, you. Monica. Oh. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> oh. Well, she's friendly. Hi, boys and girls. I'm Lucky Duck. Thank you. Thank you. Gee, I wonder where Sparky is. Oh, here comes Sparky now! Gee, Sparky, what kind of sandwich is that? It's a dynamite sandwich. Try it, Lucky. It's a blast. <laughs> ah, my brain! That's a vital organ! <laughs> ah, my spleen! That's a vital organ! <laughs> ah, my appendix! That's a vital organ! Oh, that, that, that's his catchphrase, then. Remember, kids, violence isn't funny. So work out your differences by talking and stuff. Oh, so Clifford, what's your answer? <laughs> I think that is the most disgusting, depraved, irresponsible, and immoral excuse for a television program I've ever seen. 
Oh, so we got a deal then. Well, great. We'll see you on Monday. Monday. <laughs> okay, team, get ready to go to camera one. Where's Clifford? Where's Clifford? These men introduced the next case. Get him on stage now. I need Clifford now. Nigel, 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 relax. What, what, what? Dennis Quaid's going to do it. Oh. Oh, well, in that case, can somebody fetch me a double decaf, short, dry cappuccino with a little twist? All we have is water. That'll do. Welcome back to Muppets Tonight. I'm Dennis Quaid, and I'm pleased to introduce this next bit. It's a screen test that Kermit the Frog and I did for a movie that eventually became Dragonheart. Let's watch, shall we? Oh, oh, if only some brave warrior will come and help us fight the evil dragon Frogo. I am sorry that I am late. There was a five-horse pileup on ye old interstate. No, no. Where is the dreaded frog? I'll take a stab at it. He's in the cave. Thank you, Sir Sarcasm. Frogo, <laughs> your reign of terror is over. I, circumference of a circle, shall fight you to the death. Oh, get over thyself. Ooh. Hey, you don't sound like Sean Connery. Yeah, you don't sound like Jerry Lee Lewis. Oh, in personal. Stand back, everyone. Hi ho, Frogo the Dragon here. <laughs> I am ready to face thee. Ah, Corey's tiny. Why he's not even as big as me, Boyle? <laughs> you are not as intimidating as the script led me to believe. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, you see, that's because I should have come in in the foreground. I would have looked much bigger. Uh, I'll just do it again. Uh, <laughs> well, this is only a regular. I know. Uh, now, I shall roast you alive with my fire breathing abilities. Turn on the gas, Fred. <laughs> Love that song, kid. Two, three. You shook the ground and you ran on the deck. You dragged a flame, makes a man feel brave. You brought the flame, ain't that a shame? Goodness and rage is great, muzzle fire. Gee, I guess I was wrong. He does sound like Jerry Lee Lewis. You know, when I watch this show, I find myself counting the minutes until it's over. Really? How many are left? <laughs> I love that joke. <laughs> hey, did you focus that? I don't think he focused that, you know. If the picture's not clear, it can make you look kind of green. <laughs> hey, you know what I'm having for dinner? What? Frog's legs! <laughs> Wouldn't that be a horrible taste? Wouldn't that be horrible? No, I'm sitting no. here with you, and I'd be eating frog's legs. <laughs> it would be kind of like having dinner with the Donner Party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of cadavers, have you ever seen my book of crime scene photographs? Uh, no, no, not actually. Uh, I oh, haven't. I carry it around as a conversation oh, no. piece. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's called Isn't It Gross? It's old crime scene photographs. I'll show it to you while you eat. Here, look at that. Oh, here's that. Oh, he doesn't even look human anymore. No. Oh, look, look at that guy down there. Is that disgusting? 